I'll type in the names here like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Boy, effect. All right. Our last winner's quarterfinals game that we have here. Getting it underway. All right, so we have Palutena for MT Cat, and then, per usual, Carvia pulling out the Pikachu right here. We both of them, both of them competing for an opportunity to get into winner's semifinals. It's winner's semifinals and up that you're guaranteed a top eight position, right? Oh my goodness. I believe that is the case. And for this tournament here, we have prizing for all of top eight. Ooh, okay, so. okay. So that you absolutely want to be there in that case. For sure. So that's what these two players are competing over here, is the chance to get into top eight in general. Nice and be little eligible for prizing. Nice little juke from Carvia, and that explosive flame, using the up B backwards as well. Honestly, yeah, this is good. definitely a pretty close one. Both these characters, both these players know, all right, if I slip up once, I'm going to take a massive amount of percent, either from the Palutena washing machine. Yeah, there it is. The rinse cycle. I don't know. What about the... Listen, what, I, okay, we got the rinse cycle. What about the dryer cycle? I mean, it could just, you know, it could be either way, right? <laughs> I don't know. More fun to be a washing machine, though, than a dryer. It, actually, wh which would it more be more fun? Like, is there like is there a metric we can use to determine which would be more fun to be? <laughs> I don't know if we mean, have we, that we kind have of to, metric. You have to analyze this very scientifically. You have to understand. <laughs> My goodness. It's still a relatively even game here so far. Both sides trying to find openings. And others' defenses. Both players playing very carefully and very patiently. Not trying to make the slice of slip ups that reflect, gonna do some T jolt damage onto Carvia there. Yeah, I like the use of, of Reflect from Empty Cat. They've been using it quite a few times to deal with the T jolt, and it's worked out well for them every single time. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, Carvia trying to get another Thunder through stage, not quite getting it this time though. Going for a ledge trump, but MT Cat coming up on the stage a little bit too soon for that trump to go through the back air, going to take Carvia's first stock. Yeah, very nicely done from MT Cat so far. That being said, sitting at 82%, so it wouldn't take that Whoa. much more. Oh, Reeds! That wow. was fantastic. It doesn't find the kill, though. I'm gonna try to find the fair, but. That was like the double tech chase, so very yeah, well done. Incredible Carvia. read by Carvia there. But Carvia does need to be careful, though. They're getting snuffed out as they try to get back to the stage. These Palutena back airs are so potent. Mm -hmm. For sure. The raw up smash going to take that first stock, though. So, even on stocks, but Empty Cat did build up a decent percent lead, which Carvia is now looking to counter Rectify. entirely. Mm -hmm. And Pikachu absolutely can do that in the right hands if Carvia finds the right opening here. Not quite able to follow up after the back air, though. That being said, though, it seems as though MTK has been doing a good job DI and SDIing out of oh. these combos. But that oh. was a very clever use of the explosive flame to extend that combo. For sure. That could have potentially been a kill. I'm not quite sure if it would have at that percent, but it would have been close either way. If that up, like, up that high. Yeah. yeah, it would have been really close. And Pikachu, they have Isn't a lot of strength. Heaviest. But yeah, it's not the heaviest by any means. It's just impossible to hit him. Yeah, sometimes Pikachu can definitely be a bit of a pancake. All right, trying to throw out these explosive flames. Connected one, but not able to get either of the other ones. Still though, good percent. These backers right have been doing some serious work for MT Cat so far this game. Yeah, like backers, it's a very, very good cool. tool to. Here's like because it gives you some defense as well, and these explosive flames as well have been catching Carbia unawares good quick attack there to avoid the explosive flame dash attack going to do it though Carvia oh, down to his last stock here yep. oh, there's the washing yep. machine the cycle is starting <laughs> the cycle begins and not quite able to follow up with a detectation situation there not quite the right percents and honestly, if you think about it, both these play, both these characters do just have um, like essentially washing machine. Um, <laughs> the ba we have they the do back air loops, play. the back air loops from uh, Pichu, and we have you the mean an air loops. loops? Pichu is the one that has back air loops. Oh no, no, honestly, well, I mean, no, no, because I'm because um, Pichu still does have. Oh, back you mean like carrying off stage air. with that? Yeah, you can still do that. The better loops that uh, Pikachu has is lightning loops. Yeah, the I don't know. Because these up tilts. Because thing is, like Pichu isn't like going in a circle or anything, right? So it's like a little like. <laughs> I don't know. It's louder than like a 
like a little like washing machine oh. move. It's more like a oh, oh wow. geez, that was 82 percent that just killed it. Yeah, I mean, Karya was definitely DIing out from the prior one. Didn't want the combo to extend too far, but was just a little bit too slow. And that back air caught him DIing out, and that is going to do it. Very well done by Empty Cat to take game one. For sure. These are both very, very adept players at their respective characters. Absolutely. So and honestly, what... it's been a ton of fun to watch so far. I would mm -hmm. love... I, I hope this set goes to game three, honestly. Because, <laughs> like, there's just so much creativity. Yeah, like, well, I, I shouldn't say any creativity for, like... I don't know. Even though, like, Palutena is, like, a very, like... I know a lot of people say Palutena is, like, a basic character, right? But I actually really enjoy watching like good Palutena players just because like just watching characters with really good movement and just really like lots of fast movement is just really fun for me so mm. it's been a very treat it's been a treat to watch MD it's been a very treat play. yes it's been a very treat yes <laughs> listen I can English good Duh. words are hard sometimes words 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 oh there's the back air kind of strings as we were talking about briefly earlier not quite getting chip damage off of the Thunder through the stage. And right now, Carby is trying to make it back, trying to use T-Jolt to cover their recovery. And on, there we go. Mm. There's the point attack to get back, and now we're at a more of a neutral game state right now. Mm. I feel like Empty Cat has been doing a good job of using the Reflex to reflect T-Jolts back. Yeah, and it's been super, super good. Games. We'll have to see, because even it's been a good option so far, but is definitely a punishable one. So we'll see if Carby... Yeah finds a way to abuse that as mm. the set goes on. Approach from above, get a falling nair into up smash or something like that. Yeah, but Harvey's looking at these signs start, but right now, Empty Cat just snuffs it out and just says, no, get away from me. Here's a back air to the face instead. Mm. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of those back airs making it a bit difficult for Carvey to find ways in in these past couple of games here. A good counter. There's the counter on. Good patience from Carvey. Yeah, doesn't get hit by that up smash two frame. Back are not quite going to take the stock yet. Oh, nice read on the roll in. Down air. Doesn't find anything off of that, though. Man, Carby is living so long right now. We're definitely seeing the high upper blast zones on Town and City here. Definitely yeah, seeing them come into play. Absolutely. Oh, good read. Right now, Carvia, this is a good position for Carvia to be in, but not. We got some decent damage, but not able to get Halu close to the kill just yet. Mm -hmm. Oh? Oh! I'm surprised that Empty Cat was able to dash attack there despite Carvia throwing out another down tilt. Yeah, that Smash was good because... in a nutshell, I guess. Yeah, because when Ooh. you get up attack... Is that gonna kill? Wow, that killed! Damn. Very nice reaction from Carvia, but Empty Cat just drops down, throws out the back air, and instantly kills Carvia again. But yeah, when you use get up attack, like, you have, a, you have some iframes when you start it, right? So... It can be good, especially if you think your opponent's going to try to like be aggressive towards you on that. And considering oh. in the previous game, Carvia had like done the down tilt into the down tilt again, so there was prior information for Empty Cat to work with. Mm -hmm. So Carvia changing things up there a bit this time. Not stay too consistent doing the same thing. Or trying to F-Smash out of that parry, but doing it the wrong way. Nice little pivot grab into the forward air. Good air dodge. Yeah, Empty Cat doing a good job of calling out a lot of Carvia's options here. In this game so far. Carby is able to make it back to stage though, so not stuck at the ledge of the moment for now, but Ooh. now they're back. Get caught by the up smash. Not gonna be enough to kill it yet. That back air won't be either. It was very close though. Dash attack not enough yet. Just living See the so reflect coming long. out. <laughs> yeah, Carvey is struggling to find opportunities to find damage against MT Cat here. Empty Cat making it very difficult for Carvey to find these openings. So some good DI is keeping Carvey alive oh. up until that explosive flame comes out. Yeah, the raw explosive flame just taking that stock there. And right now, oh, loops. it's starting again. These up airs are absolutely devastating Oof. right now into the F-Smash. Oh, we are not going to see an early kill, are we? No, no, no. Okay, Doesn't okay. seem like. But Carvia is struggling to get back to stage. But the drag down oh, combo. String. And then the Nair into the down smash. 
Not quite enough yet. Close-ish. We're not quite there. Yeah, right now, Carvey is trying to just kind of be up in Empty Cat's face right now. Make sure Oof. that they do not have time to breathe. Up smash. Not quite killing yet because of the high vertical blast zones on Town and City here. Oh, actually oh, getting the two throw. frame. Ooh, that is close. But Carby is at high enough percent where that down throw back air is not going to connect anymore. But Oof. the raw back air will. And Empty Cat takes the set 2-0. to zero. Seems Very like Empty Cat will be going on to winner's semifinals with a... Def definitely close there, but in a in a bit of a different way than other games that we've seen. <laughs> yeah, like like the beginning of both of these games have been very very close, but MTK is just able to pull it ahead past a certain point, and really just keep a stranglehold on the game in both mm. of those games.